Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new Winlater Ludashi which is the continuation of Winlater Bionic Ludashi the best ever performing windows emulator for android devices before Winlater C mode now the Winlater Ludashi which is an open source fork version of Winlater Android its development was stopped but finally it has continued once again we have the Winlater Ludashi 2.4 update with brand new features compatibility improvements new fix versions new drivers and lot more so you guys can check out the change log on its official github you guys can see we have import Slash export shortcut for presets so you can now export your game presets as well and import it whenever you want added option to import shortcuts major rework to fix core management replace front end export path input touch controls have been fixed for example fix crash when trying to show toast messages remove duplicate cursor speed modified gyro settings from settings and before you try out the winlater ludashi bionic you'll need to remove the old version of winlater c mode that you might have on your android device or else you won't be able to try out the winlater ludashi emulator this developer is updating winlater ludashi regularly we have version 2.3 2.2 and so on with improvements for performance and compatibility with all of that out of the way you guys can see i have added the winlater c mode ludashi or winlater bionic ludashi on my android device which is the fork version of winlater c mode now recently you guys might have heard the development of winlater c mode is stopping because the main developer lost both his pc as well as mobile so he lost access to all the development files of the winlater c mode which is really unfortunate because c mode was the best performing windows emulator for android but don't worry winlater bionic ludashi is actually very well performing as well and it works the best even on low end devices whereas winlater c mode didn't give that much fps on a mali gpu android device or a low end android device and it also had compatibility issues due to new rapper graphics driver anyways in winlater c mode ludashi when you open it for the first time you'll need to wait until all the assets are loaded as usual once that's done simply tap on the okay button and enable this option and here we go our windows emulator has successfully started it will look just like the normal winlater android or the winlater c mode uh, it is actually a fourth version of winlater c mode 7.1.4 which provided the most amount of performance possible so here in terms of main settings you can only change the box 64 preset which i'll do i'll set it to performance and you guys can see now we have import as well as export feature for the box 64 preset I'll duplicate the box 64 performance preset, set the safe flex level as 0 afterwards tap on OK and choose the performance preset that we just created. Afterwards we'll tap on the plus button and create ourselves a brand new container. You guys can see we have some custom resolution options as well but for today's video we'll go with 960 by 544p resolution. Now you can also go to the winlater c mode home screen and then import your wine content for example the latest proton version of wine 10.0. You guys can import it afterwards you can select the wine version from here. It is already pre-default selected in this case as Y9.0. In terms of graphics driver you only get one option which is the wrapper graphics driver and here you can either use your system graphics driver supported for unsupported snapdragon processors as well as Mali GPU android devices or you can use the turnip graphics driver for snapdragon 8 gen 3 or below. But for today's video I'll go with the system graphics driver as the device which I'm using has a snapdragon 8 elite processor. In terms of DX wrapper, choose DXVK plus VKD3D. VKD3D feature level is 12 underscore 1. VKD3D version should be 2.14.1. And DXVK version, you can set it as default 2.3.1. And everything else, you can keep it as default. Tap on the OK button, audio driver, set it to pulse audio. Enable show FPS as well as full screen option. And that's about it. You can go to the advanced section, use the latest box 64 0.3.7 and the performance preset which you created. Set the startup selection as aggressive and you can enable all the processor affinity for 32 bit apps. Once that has been done, you can go to drives and select the directory where you have stored your PC games. And that's about it, guys. Simply tap on the enter button afterwards, run your container, and you'll notice that a win later Bionic Ludashi will start after a few seconds of initializing. Now, this is better than the game hub emulator version 5.1.0 and i'll prove it to you in just a second so first of all we'll go to the e directory where i have stored all my pc games and for today's video i'll be trying out god of war directly now if you go to the start section you'll notice that there is no uh, benchmark tools for example test d 3d etc so you can't really see how much fps are you getting uh, from the simulator by testing out direct 3d but what we'll do is directly jump into the gameplay test of the win later c mode ludashi input touch controls and enable the virtual on-screen touch controls controls and here we go our god of war has successfully started in just a single click when you open it for the first time you'll need to wait for a few seconds enable the virtual on-screen touch controls tap on the a button and here we go sony interactive entertainment presence now i'll prove it to you guys that the performance in winlater bionic ludashi is much much better than the game hub emulator as well as stock winlater android 
Towards the top left corner, you will be able to see the wrapper version as well as FPS along with that the graphics driver that you are using. Now you will notice that my God of War actually has lot of graphical issues but take a look towards the left side of your screen, you will see I am getting 20 to 30 FPS in God of War 2018 original PC game whereas if I try out the same game in Game Hub Emulator, I was getting about 8 to 9 FPS maximum which was really poor. Now we'll just go ahead and go to the settings option and here we'll modify some settings to get even better performance. So go to graphics and here set the graphics resolution to low. Go back and now you guys can see we are getting about 52 FPS while emulating God of War on our Android device. And that's how amazing it is. Like literally 60 FPS on God of War 2018, one of the highest end PC games of its own time. And I want to tell you guys something. This is actually really amazing 60 FPS at the top left corner. I have never gotten this much FPS in any of the the other PC emulators and the graphical issues which you are seeing is because of the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor which I have on my Android device. So Snapdragon 8 Elite has graphical issues because it does not have a turnip graphics driver but if you use any Snapdragon device with turnip graphics driver I am sure you won't face any graphical issues. Now you will be able to see it seems that the game has a frozen for some reason I don't know why but it appears that the game has frozen so we'll go to task manager and you guys can see yeah the game process has been frozen it's not going above 3.09 GB of memory. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll upload a GTA 5 gameplay test video on the win later Bionic Ludashi pretty soon and we should definitely get more than 100 FPS in GTA 5 inside this emulator. I'll test it out on my low-end devices too pretty soon so make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.